starting at the port bow. Continuing our video tour now, going down the starboard side. The camera goes out of focus. That may be because the lights change dramatically on the other side or in the storage unit here. Got a lot of things parked around. There's not a lot of room to move. Okay. Standing in front of the windshield. And walk forward to the bow, bow pulpit. And looking back at the hatch. This uh, square thing is where the owner had a piece of plastic over it, duct tape to uh, keep the elements up while it was in storage. So that's all that is. Windshield looks really good. Walk through three piece, windshield wiper. Radar arch. Cockpit here, starting with the console. on top of it and we have a HOA that doesn't allow you to leave anything out. A lot of places don't like you to have boats in your yard and they're not very sporting that way of course. Those are the rules. Looking back at the galley. And the dinette. And the enclosed head. Even, we didn't even fill the yeah. And a nice little after cabin down here. Which I'm not sure the camera will pick it all up. That was kind of. But it's a very, very spacious little 
I'd say a twin or possibly a, a twin. Great place to put your guests. <laughs> One burner stove and fridge. All very clean. It's a cupboard space underneath. of the berth fully extended here. It just folds out very easily and quickly. And the table actually also goes out into the cockpit area. To make a very large cabin. So you've got actually sleeping for four. Video of the Bimini extended. As you can see, it's in very, very good condition. video of the engine here. New batteries. It's got two batteries, right? Yes. Okay. The engine. Everything looks to be in tip top shape. Very clean. None of those gassy engine room smells. And we'll get back here to that purple switch in the back and the fire suppression unit. And all of the hoses, everything looks really tiggy-boo.